broke it, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is the old one. Sorry. And I just did it again. Damn it. All right, so Vincent's going to be a little late this morning. He had to go to San Carlos last night to uh, inspect an engine. Today I'll be working on that same plane. Well, first I'm going to get coffee. Then I'll, I'll be replacing the compressor bleed valve. That's a valve in the engine that helps with uh, acceleration. Basically what it'll do, it'll unload the compressor so that the engine can spool up a little faster. It also uh, provides surge and, and compressor stall protection for the engine. We've got a new one in stock already, so this will be my first time doing that, but I'll show you guys what that looks like. Here's what the compressor bleed valve looks like. So it's got this poppet valve here that will actuate to relieve pressure from the compressor. Manual reference, familiarize myself with this before I get started. Okay, so in here we can see the compressor bleed valve. We'll go ahead and remove these bolts and then we'll get the compressor bleed valve removed. bleed valve removed. I need to double check the manual but I think there's a few items I need to transfer over like this snap ring here. These bleed valves have different classes too so I need to make sure that I've got the right class of bleed valve to put on the. So the valve seat is one of the things that I'll need to transfer over. If you see here on the new compressor bleed valve it comes with this cover that says replace with seat. This item here I'll have to take out these screws and transfer the seat over to the new valve. Tiny, tiny little screws. Don't lose those. All right, got that bleed valve out. Now we got another plane swap. Bring this plane down, then I'll get back to work on the bleed valve. Busy morning, We've got another plane swap, so I just dropped that plane off. I'm gonna pick this plane up. The pilot who just turned this plane over to me said he saw my videos and keep up the good work. Back from San Carlos. Tell them about your road trip, dude. Oh, yeah. Um, yesterday they asked me to go, they asked me if I wanted to go up north. Yeah, you're being voluntold <laughs> yeah. to, to go on a road trip. In like five minutes because there's like passengers waiting up in San Carlos to get to wherever they need to be. I went up there and... Um, he flew private up there, had a whole plane to himself. Right? Yeah, I had a whole plane to myself, took a nap, took a pretty sweet nap. Dude, Sean Marshall is a badass pilot. I did a boroscope inspection on the... I ran the plane, but just, actually just once, but I did a bunch of power snaps, I did a torque limiter test, a spool down check, and everything checked out fine. So each, what do you, each what do you mean by class? Well, there's different sizes depending on what engine class you have. So see how this says oh. CL, CL6, so this is a class 16, which is what this engine was built to use. So yeah, we'll clean it up and then we'll uh, put some of that sealant on it and reinstall it. Surface all cleaned up, this Hylomar uh, sealing compound. The instructions say lightly coat both sides of the valve seat with the joining compound. So the only thing left to do is uh, lubricate the threads of the bolts. It's this stuff, Dow Corning Compound 4. Then we'll install it, torque it, and we'll go out and do some engine runs. I don't see any debris. So 
what I just installed at the end there is a safety wire. Say the bolts were to start loosening, it would prevent them from backing out the whole way. Uh, basically locks them in place in the positive tightening direction. Now all we got left to do is an engine performance run. Vince is getting the performance numbers together for this engine run. We'll go ahead and start pulling the aircraft out. We'll go and run it. Make sure the bleed valve's actuating properly. He's gonna sit left seat for this and uh, taxi the plane and run up the engine. And I'll hang out right seat and uh, I'll let you guys know what we're doing. Alright, so we're over here on the North Taxiway. Uh, Vince is getting ready to do engine run 7, which is a test of the engine performance. Basically, it's got different target and limit values on it. So, based on the current temperature and pressure today, which uh, Vince already went ahead and input, uh, he's going to set a target torque pressure, and then we'll look at all the different limits, ITT, uh, gas generator speed, and fuel flow, and we'll see uh, where we fall uh, in relation to those limits. good engine run. One of the comments I got in YouTube, somebody was asking me how much fuel we burn on an engine run. So that was about a, probably about a 10 minute run. And we burned, uh, yes, yeah, 78 pounds of fuel, 11 or 12 gallons of fuel we burned. About a tank in a car. Like, yeah. Like an automobile tank, full tank of yeah. gas. 11 gallons of gas. But it, believe it or not, this is actually a very efficient engine as far as turbine engines go. Vince gets to go on another road trip. Santa Barbara this time, but he has to drive two and a half hours each way. Device, it's a, it's a listening and speaking device that the pilots use to uh, listen and speak to each other. The headset broke and they can't fly until they get a new one. You're gonna leave me here all alone to do the real work. Oh my God, I know, <laughs> All right, so getting ready to replace the fuel control in this aircraft. That's also something I've never done, so I'm looking up in the manual how to do it. I know it's easier with the number two battery removed, so I think I'll start by pulling that out. Battery weighs 100 pounds. Basically, it uses mechanical inputs from the pilot and the engine to uh, meter the amount of fuel flowing into the engine. So it's just this whole component here. So I have to disconnect all these linkages. And then uh, after we install the new FCU, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments to uh, basically engine rigging. We're replacing this because it's due for overhaul. It has a 4,000 hour overhaul interval. So this one's been installed for 4,000 hours. Now we've got to change it out and put a new one on and we'll send this one out to the shop for overhaul. Alright, now I've got the cockpit control cables disconnected. Uh, I can go ahead and remove the fuel inlet, fuel outlet, the airline, the uh, gas generator speed pickup. Then I can take off the bolts that are securing it to the engine. I'm going to put a cup down there to catch any fuel that might spill. I just have two more nuts to remove and then I'll be able to take the whole unit out. Alright, here's the fuel control removed. Got a little dirty in the process. Okay, so here's the new FCU. When I, when I transfer these fittings over, like these here, fuel fittings and air fittings, I'll need to uh, pay attention to which way they're oriented. Basically, this FCU and this engine can be installed on a number of different aircraft. Depending on which aircraft it's installed on, these fittings would be faced a different direction. So I have to 
make sure I pay attention to which direction they're facing and then reinstall them facing the same direction. Now I'm taking some measurements of the various stops on the old FCU because when I rig the new FCU I'm going to have to make some fine adjustments to these different stops um, and this will just help me by getting a baseline measurement so I can kind of set the new FCU close to where it needs to be and then I'll fine tune it. And there's no way I would ever try to hide that. Alright we got all of our initial rigging adjustments. We're going to go ahead and install the FCU and do some more rigging. Then we'll run the engine and make sure it's at a good place. I just dropped one of those nuts way down in the engine bay, but got this magnetic claw I'll grab it out with. Okay, almost done with this FCU. We got a load of prop into this uh, truck here. I just stabbed my finger so deep with safety wire. Leaving early, so I got through the FCU installation and I'm gonna go home and then uh, get an early start tomorrow on the rigging. That was a longer job than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. 